Okay, top five hammers every beginner should have an understanding about and the differences between. First, I'll start out with just a general rubber mallet. Nothing special to it. You're gonna want a rubber mallet to put some wood pieces together that are tight. They need to, you know, interlock like, uh, like what I have here. So that goes in like this. I'll just like, so you're gonna want something that you can use to tap it together. It's not gonna mar it or damage it or cause you to do extra work like sand something else out. And we just, like that. Next up, I call it the GP Special, general purpose hammer that you're gonna buy at the hardware store because you only have 10 bucks, that's what you're gonna get. And if you, if you notice that, the uh, claw is super, uh, super curved. And I'll show you in a second here, once I put some nails in a board, I'll show you why this is probably the worst hammer you're gonna wanna get for bigger stuff. This is great for hanging a picture at your girlfriend's house, boyfriend's house, something like that, but not for uh, framing a house, two by fours, uh, framing walls or taking nails out of plywood or something like that, that's not gonna work for you. Next up is your typical framing hammer. This one's 22 ounces. And if you look at the claw, let me get a good angle here. It's more straighter than it is angled. See how that one's angled so much? And then this one is pretty, it's got super straight. And that's what they call a rip claw. It's pretty common on framing hammers. Kind of same thing like that. Generally your framing hammer is completely solid steel handle all the way down through. And a good way to check on some of the hammers, you'll see a little metal. I don't have one that looks like that though. You might see a little metal at the very bottom. And that means that whole entire hammer is steel and it just has a rubber grip. Where some hammers like these, it's just wood. Doesn't go through all the way to the handle. And then you got the, what I call the super framing hammer because you got the waffle on the head. See that, look at that. That is actually designed for hitting uh, the nails. So they actually go in straighter If you ever put a nail in a board, sometimes it goes crooked at an angle. Well, with this waffle head, it's specifically designed to make those nails go in a lot straighter. I'm gonna show you that right now. So here we got. All right. Pretty 
pretty straight. All it in. Another one over here. See how that the the real shiny head causes the nail to slip. I wasn't doing that on purpose. Put that another hole here. See? Man, what a difference. And then like I was saying before, so you got your general purpose hammer. Man, that's gonna take a lot of force trying to get a nail out. <clears throat> but with one of these, You got a longer handle, more leverage. Give it a couple wax. She's out. This one's even better, the longer handle. One little shot. See that? Definitely worth it to get one of these framing hammers. Now, Another cool feature about your framing hammers. There we go. Another cool feature is on top of this head right here. It's got a magnet that holds the nail. So that So if you're one-handed, you're holding something with one hand, you got this in your cool pouch. All right, you can stick a nail on that. And boom, it gets it started real nice. Definitely worth the money. The last hammer, my favorite because I kind of make these a lot. This is just a wooden hammer. I made out of four by four and some round stock. And I use this a lot for chiseling, like making uh, mortise and tenon cuts. And if you watch some of my videos, I use these blue handled chisels and with a with a heavier hammer it's just less effort and uh you got a lot of chiseling to do that's really the best thing so there you have it your rubber mallet your framing hammers general purpose and your big wooden hammer. Hope this gives you some insight on buying a hammer or why is that waffle on there? Just don't hit your thumb with it. I've done that and it leaves quite a mark. Hey, I hope this is helpful for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.